Hey friends, Tux here. I'm going to show you something potentially very embarrassing, and that is this. This is my Samsung TV remote control, and I dropped it and so many times. I dropped it so many times, but I dropped it over the weekend, and it literally broke in two. Okay, and I did the trashiest thing possible. I put duct tape around it to hold it together because this part honestly just broke free of this part. It was literally two pieces, but it still worked, but it just needed to be together. So I tried super glue, kind of worked, and a little piece of duct tape around it to keep it together and that is like the worst thing I've ever done ever. But I did order a replacement here from Amazon and we're gonna see if this does work. So if you've ever broken your Samsung TV remote, you know that the TV doesn't even have buttons on. So you have to have a remote to use the TV. Otherwise the TV is kind of useless. There, there's no hidden buttons on my TV. You need the remote control, okay, for my particular model. And so that is the deal with that. So this TV remote control has served me very well. Um, but yeah, it's you can see it's not even fitting right and it literally broke in two. Um, terrible. So let me go ahead and put this to the side right now and take a look. This is the replacement from Amazon. And it looks a little bit different, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully this works and we'll check this out together. Maybe this is a fail. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out together here, but I will open this up. This cost um, under 20 bucks on Amazon. I want to say it was, oh God, it was, it was under 20. I don't remember the exact price. Um, but anyway, this is the remote that they sent me and this does look a little bit different. Uh, maybe a little bit cheaper, okay? Maybe definitely a little bit smaller than the one that I have. Um, this particular thing is curved a little bit too. You can see it has that Samsung curvature a little bit. Maybe not quite as dramatic. Uh, and it looks like it does have buttons and it'd be great, man, if these buttons work for Netflix, uh, Prime, and uh, whatever that is, uh, Roku TV or whatever, it'd be great if it worked. It looks like it does have a volume button and it does have a channel button. And of course the little Samsung circle. Um, this one here actually kind of features uh, like four, like this circle with the middle part probably does the same thing as the square right here. See the little square probably is like the circle. And then um, there's source menu. The buttons are configured a little bit different, but let me pop some batteries in this bad boy and we'll see if this actually boots up. Okay, so I did this off camera, but it does work, okay? So if you need to replace a Samsung TV remote, even if it looks a little bit different, okay, this will actually work. A few weird things about this remote is that um, the volume up down, I didn't realize looking at this is just one button. If you push it straight, it's like mute. If you press it up or down, it does volume up or volume down. So there's a deal with that. Channel is the same way as channel up, channel down. So it does click both inward, up, and just click down. Almost like a three directional, like a button and a joystick kind of. So go up, down, middle, okay? Um, the buttons are a little funky. Um, these Netflix buttons did not work for me, but it does do like menu, home, special features, all kind of thing. Um, this one here turned up all the, like the smart apps where the home button did that, which is a little weird. I would think that must be more like menu or something. But anyway, that's that. And of course the circle does, you know, do bi-directional up, down, left, right, and push the middle one, click for accept. So anyway, bottom line, this does work. If you need something quick and easy, I'll be honest though, like it, take, it might take me some getting used to this. Like I may use this for a week and then go back to my crappy uh, broken remote control or try and buy the exact remote control off of eBay or something. Cause this one, although it works is Samsung, um, it is a little bit funky. There's the two AA batteries. I haven't put the cover back on, but the cover just kind of goes on. I'm sure you guys know how to stick a cover on it. So that is the deal with that. Um, pretty easy to do. It does work. Um, I, I remember the fact in the days of big home theater, like remote controls that were like gigantic, you know, and it's weird just having like a little teeny remote control now. Um, but anyway, guys, it does work. Um, I probably just buy a new TV, you know, quite honestly. Um, my TV is a curved Samsung uh, HD. It looks great, uh, but I could probably buy a new one maybe and just use that one for games or something. So anyway, guys, that's it. I've been rambling. Um, you need remote control. The link for this is down below. Click the link to get yours. If you need a replacement, Samsung, this will work on a large variety of TVs from Samsung. And get this, if it doesn't work, Amazon's really good. And I'm sure they'll let you send it back and get a credit or something or get your refund. Okay. You can talk to Amazon at that, but the Amazon's great for refunds. And that's one of the reasons why I picked Amazon. I picked Amazon to buy this because if it didn't work, I wanted to make sure I could have an easy return process and get credit easily. Okay. Amazon is great for that. But luckily this does actually work. I just, I just don't know if I'll get used to it or not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching friends. Bye-bye.